Hi, I'm Johanna Nelson from the University of Missouri Fisher Delta Research Center. Today I will be talking about making beds for furrow irrigated rice, for corn, soybeans, and cotton. We usually make beds tall enough to protect the seedlings from water injury after heavy rains, but that's not a concern with rice. The main problem with furrow rice is getting irrigation water to wick to the center of beds, avoid making tall, wide beds for furrow rice. Last year, our highest rice yields were with 30-inch beds. You want beds to be just tall enough to keep water flowing evenly across the field without breaking laterally to another row. The University of Missouri does not endorse brands of field implements. For this video, I will show you a conventional better, better roller, and a furrow runner. Betters or hippers similar to the Bessler better are common on southeast Missouri farms. This better is good for moving soil to make a firm bed, but be careful not to make beds too tall for rice. After making the beds, it usually helps to make a pass with a roller or implement with rolling baskets to flatten the tops of the beds before planting rice. This Eddins Better Roller works well for furrow irrigated rice. The shanks are adjusted for the desired bed width. The main advantage it has over a conventional better is that only one pass is needed. The rollers on the back flatten the beds as you go. The Perkins Furrow Runner works on a different concept from bedders. It makes water furrow grooves instead of building beds. The Furrow Runner was designed for making furrows in no-till fields after cover crops. It is mainly used with soybeans, corn, and cotton. The Furrow Runner is unique because it can make water furrows with minimum plant residue disturbance. We are finding that the furrow runner is also useful in furrow irrigated rice. In one field at the Delta Center, we drill planted rice on flat soil. When the rice began tillering, we made grooves across the field with the furrow runner before irrigating. Furrow irrigated rice research in 2019 showed that yields were much higher on 30 inch beds than 38 and 60 inch beds. Avoid making tall beds. Hit beds only tall enough to avoid having irrigation water break over to the next furrow. We want to thank the Missouri Rice Research and Merchandising Council for supporting our research. 2019 was the first year for this study. The research is continuing this year and we will present the results at the Missouri Rice Conference next February.